Hi guys! So this past Christmas, I asked for four Shangxiao 2x2s to make a giant 1x2x2. For some reason, I've always wanted to do this because it seems really fun and really weird. So I chose to use Shangxiao 2x2s because they're very blocky 2x2s and you don't want a sort of speed cube to make a mod. So I'm just going to quickly open all of them. Now I was actually pretty surprised when I opened the box because for some reason there was this like plastic that was supposed to be packaging I guess. And then the stickers were like a disgusting scheme. <laughs> and they were like those weird bumpy stickers that no one uses. I don't know why Shang Xiao decided to do that. I've had these cubes before and they've just been like normal stickers but then they changed it to be weird. I don't know. So if you don't know how to make a 1x2x2, two two, it's actually quite simple. I used Red KB's method from like 10 years ago. Basically, you take apart three of the four 2x2s two to build extensions. You then glue those extensions onto the remaining 2x2 two two, and you get a 1x2x2. Two two. It's pretty cool and it's pretty fun. But first we gotta take off these disgusting stickers before we can start the mod. Good thing I don't need these stickers because I hate them. So yeah, this was pretty tedious, but you know, you gotta do it for basically every mod. Once I made this beautiful array of stickers, I had four unstickered 2x2s. Two I sadly had to condense the beautiful pattern into a fat stack of stickers. But anyways, let's actually begin modding. So what I had to do was disassemble three of these 2x2s. Two two and I thought it would be simple, like you just sort of pop the pieces off. But no, it was so hard because the cube is actually pretty big compared to the mini 2x2s, two two, which is what you usually use to make a 1x2x2. Two it, it actually hurt a lot to take off the pieces, but you know, I figured it out eventually. It took me forever to take off all the pieces, but once I did it, it was pretty nice. My hands were all blistered and cut. Then I got out some crazy glue to begin gluing together the pieces to make some extensions. Making the extensions is quite simple. You literally stick two of the pieces together and there you go, you've got an extension. I also used the 2x2 two two that I didn't take apart as a sort of backbone so that I could make sure I glued the extensions together straight. Once I did that, I had a bunch of extensions and it was time to glue them onto the actual 2x2. Two two. So again, I got out my super glue, just put a little bit onto the extensions and, well, stuck it onto the cube. I had to make sure that uh, I glued them on a certain way so that the sort of open part of the pieces was not going to be shown when you turn the cube because I think it's ugly to turn a cube and then there's like gaps in the pieces. That's really up to you, but that was just my personal preference. I also made sure to spin the top layer of the 2x2 two two whenever I was gluing on pieces so that I didn't glue the 2x2 two two in the center together because that would be bad. This was probably my favorite part of the entire mod just because it's really simple but it's really fun and actually pretty satisfying to do. So once I glued on those extensions, it was time to finish it off by gluing in the four extensions, which were going to be the sort of corner part of the 1x2x2. Two two. Now, if you didn't find the previous part satisfying, this part is definitely the most satisfying because, I don't know, something about fitting the corner in is just really nice. I don't know. And once I did that, I basically had a completed giant 1x2x2, two two, but there were definitely a few things I still had to do to touch it up and completely finish it. But as of right now, it is fully functioning. First thing I needed to do was get rid of the crosses that sort of form because you're gluing the extensions on. I wanted to make it look like four uniform cubies instead of like a bunch of pieces, so I got out some really disgusting old epoxy sculpt. <laughs> It was super hard, so I got some water to sort of make it a little bit easier to spread around, and I just began to fill the cracks of the pieces. This was probably the worst part of the mod, because it's just so boring and so messy and just so annoying, and there's so many cracks to fill, it's like, meh. I then sanded down the entire cube because after the epoxy sculpt dries, it's super bumpy and bulky, and I want it to be nice and smooth. This also took forever. 
just because it's really hard to sand down something that big. Once I had sanded down the large bulky parts, I got some really fine sandpaper to smooth it out. When you use super fine sandpaper, it makes the plastic feel really soft in a way and smooth. So I always like to do that um, for my mods. Then I just got a damp paper towel to wipe off all the dust that I got from sanding because that's not good. It would also make it pretty hard for the stickers to stick on. Then I wiped down my work surface, which is very dusty. Then I got some oil to paint the cube black. Uh, if you know me, you know I do this for all my mods because it's the least toxic way to darken the plastic. I learned this from Nathan Wilson. He's a pretty good puzzle modder. This is pretty fun. It's like finger painting. So now the 1x2x2 is looking pretty good. Last thing I gotta do is cut the stickers. So I got some of this vinyl and cut all the stickers. I purposely made them really square. I didn't round off any of the corners. For some reason on the 1x2x2, I think it looks better when it's like blocky. Not sure why, I just like it that way. And once I placed that final orange sticker, it was basically complete. Here it is. I think it looks super funny actually because it's just so giant but it's so simple it looks pretty good on a desk the turning is also really nice it's super smooth and because it's so heavy it just makes the turning a lot better what bothers me a little is you can still kind of see the crosses where i made the epoxy sculpt i guess i could have sanded it down a little better but i honestly was just so bored of sanding that i didn't really care anymore i'm not even kidding the sanding took forever like hours a funny thing I did was compare it to my original 1x2x2, which is the sort of regular size. You make it with mini East Gene 2x2s. I can't decide which one I like better. Let me know which one you like better, the big one or the little one. So yeah, that was making a giant 1x2x2. Let me know what you think of it. Do you think it's silly? Do you think it's funny? Do you think it's cool? Anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I've been gone for a really long time. Uh, yeah, be sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time on Crazy Bean Carol. Bye!